Hi, I'm shooting this quick video to show you how to set up a Facebook tab within your fan page using the static HTML app. Now the static HTML app allows you to interact with your visitors on your capture page but within the Facebook platform. Now that gets the thumbs up every time from Facebook because what they want to avoid is you taking their audience out of Facebook to your capture page and obviously getting them to do other things. But by keeping them within the Facebook platform, obviously they can go back and do other things within Facebook after they finished with you. So the first thing we want to do is find the static HTML app. And the one we want is this one with the gray background and the white star. There are many other apps that you can use, but this is the one I'm particularly going to go through with you today. So it's the static HTML iframe tabs. We click on that and it takes us through to a page allowing us to add that app to our page. So we click on the button to add static HTML to a page. We then need to tell it which of our pages we want the application to go on. Now, if you have already installed the application previously on your page, it won't be on that drop down list. Um, once you've installed it, you can just use it time and time again. You don't have to keep installing it. So once you've told it which page, you simply click add static HTML iframe tabs. And that goes away and installs the app onto your page. And it sets up your very first tab, as you'll see here. Now it uses the default title welcome and default image of their icon with the grey background and white star. But we can go in to edit both of those a little bit later. But now you have the application installed on your page, we can now start to create the tab for your advertising. What if you've already got static HTML installed on your fan page and all you simply want to do is add another tab? Well, it's very straightforward. There's two ways you can do it. Firstly, if you can't remember the name of the application, you can simply click onto a tab you already have. This takes you through to a page where you'll see top left a button to click for admin tools. It takes you through to the application menu bar and you'll see plus more and an option to add more tabs to this page. Now you can have up to 12 tabs installed on the fan page itself and if you can't remember which ones you've already got installed it doesn't matter if you click the, op, um, the various tab numbers it will tell you if it's already installed and if it is then you just simply go and select another one. But once you've told it which tab you want it will then ask you to confirm which page you want it put on and then give you a button to click to actually add the application tab to your page. It'll work its magic and there you go there's another tab ready for me to set up and use. Now if you can remember what the application is called the other way to do it is to use the Facebook search bar and type in static HTML and the number of the tab that you want to put so I'm just going to use the sixth tab and this just basically bypasses going into an existing tab and clicking on admin tools. Okay, it takes me through. I need to click to say add the app to my page. I need to tell it which page I want it installed on. I then need to click the button to tell it to install, install that tab. and it will then take me back to my page once again. And you'll see another tab has been added for me to now set up. So let's now talk through how to actually set these tabs up to get them working. Okay, so now you have your tab all installed, we can now go in and set it up. So we do that simply by clicking on the tab image and the first edit element that will come up is content. And the content is simply where everybody will end up. So in other words, your capture page. Now, if you know HTML language and you want to type your own HTML 
um, program in there then feel free but don't panic you don't have to be technical what I'm going to do is just show you how to change the application to something very straightforward so simply click on this button change app below static HTML on the left and go down the menu on the left hand side to website and this will use a page from your website okay click use website app and enter your website URL click preview just to make sure that you have got the right URL in there now as you'll see the capture page is too large for the frame in which it's to be displayed so rather than have your visitors having to scroll down the page and to the right of the page if you click this button on the right hand side just above the image that says remove scroll bars the application will resize your capture page to fit within the frame that's displaying it okay now if i click on these fields here you'll see that it's a fully active page it's just sitting within Facebook rather than having gone to your outside URL. Okay, so that's now the content element set up. Okay, so now you have your capture page all ready and waiting for your visitors. What we want to do now is activate the fan gate. Now the fan gate is simply what people will see before they have liked your page. Now obviously if you have a visitor coming back to your page and they're already a fan then they will simply go straight through and see your capture page. But if they are visiting you for the first time then the fan gate will actually get them to like your page before they're taken through to the capture page. So on the left hand side here we're going to click enable fan gate and you'll see that the default option is instant fan gate which is just simply words sim plain text okay so obviously you can type in there any caption you want to encourage them to like your page but we hear it said time and time again that pictures speak louder than words so what I'm going to do here is click change app underneath the instant fan gate on the left hand side and change the app to image and this will allow me to update uh, sorry upload an image from my computer uh, to use instead of just using plain words so I'm going to click the green button on the right use image app and then I'm going to click select image and take from my computer an image I set up earlier so you will need to obviously do this before the process okay and if you're happy that that is the right image you've selected you simply click upload if obviously you wanted a different image you would just click change okay so this is simply a snapshot of the capture page blurred out with a caption added to it to tell people what I want them to do and why I want them to do it so now I've got that I can click save and publish and that basically now activates the tab so that we have the fan gate function and also the capture page. Okay, so we now have our tab set up with the fan gate function um, set so that people are asked to like our fan page before being given access to our capture page, which will then add them through onto our list and give them whatever it is your capture page is offering them. Now, that is okay for people responding to your Facebook advertisements and coming straight through into the tab to those images and capture pages. But from time to time, people just stumble across your fan page. So what you want to do is make sure that any tabs that you have set up look attractive from this view in front of you now to encourage people just generally having a look around to come and have a look at what you have to offer. So what we need to do is edit how this appears. And we do that by clicking this downward arrow so that it's upwards. That puts it in the state where we can ed make edits and this brings up the pencil so we can click on that and go into edit settings and the first thing we want to do is give it a meaningful tab name okay now once you've typed that in you do need to click save because just by clicking okay does not save the tab name 
don't ask me why. We also want to change the tab image so that it's not just the default grey background with the white star. If we move up to the image you'll see the edit appears and the size of the image that you use must be 111 by 74. Now Facebook is very um, strict on that so you do need to make sure that you have an image set up on your computer to that size and there you go okay now you'll see that the upload page tab image opened up in a separate tab in my browser so I'm just going to close that go back to my original page and click OK and you'll see immediately that it's applied the tab name and it's also applied the tab image so if I now click if I'm just generally looking around and thinking oh laptop income what's that about if I now come out of the edit mode click on the tab it takes me through to what we've previously set up encouraging me to like the page okay so there you go one active tab hope that gets you results